what are these players right now, Greg, feeling as they tip off this brand new season? Mostly excitement. I mean, this is their first chance to showcase all the hard work they put in during the offseason. Now, Golden State's starting five. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Looney out there with Wiggins. Four on the shot clock. And it's Looney with the rebound. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Now here's Curry. Thompson for three. Vucevic with the rebound. Oh, here's Dosumu. Pass to DeRozan. Here's Vucevic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Certainly, Nikola can hit threes, but come on. He's a seven-footer with touch. Those inside shots, they work too. Looney passes to Wiggins. Thompson outside. Fires the three. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. Levine with it. He had 25 points last game. Passes it to Vucevic. And it's off from three-point range. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Wiggins passes to Green. Curry with it. Williams picks him up. Curry kicks to Green. On the wing, Thompson. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around, at some point one's going to break open, then he finds him. Williams, a screen on Curry. DeRozan against Thompson, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Just thinking aloud about the best teams of my lifetime, that 2017 Warriors are way up there. That first year, KD was with Golden State. And the free throw, no good. And the title-winning 2017 Warriors, Brent Berry, what made them special? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. I mean, all these guys in their prime, Kevin, but to me, it's what Steve created there stylistically. The fact that they played with so much freedom and so much enjoyment, uh, you don't see that all that often. And so the Warriors reaching the crown with that kind of consistency and character. That's what made it special. And the basket by DeRozan. And the offensive energy of DeRozan won him that shot. He never stops working the floor looking for those opportunities. Now here's Curry. He had 15 points last out. Here's Green. Another shot. Looney with the bucket. Uncovered at the rim. Finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. The pass to Vucevic and the foul called on Kavon Looney. That's his first foul. Chicago with the ball. Trailing by two. Vucevic has screen on Curry. A floater, and Looney sends it back. Wiggins surveying the floor. Green finds Curry. Off target with his three. For Chicago, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Wiggins against DeRozan. Clock at six. There's the three. Drills it from outside. DeRozan's got seven points. Yeah, and adding the three-point shot later in his career, DeRozan looking very comfortable on that one. Curry passes to Green. It's stolen by Vucevic. 
DeRozan against Wiggins. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And it's eight points for Clay Thompson. Now that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Wiggins against DeRozan. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Ball's knocked loose and slam dunk by Vucevic. And using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point, Vucevic a force around the rim. Now here's Green. No points in the game yet for him. Looney finds Wiggins. Now here's Curry. Just five on the clock. Takes a three. And Thompson launches it from deep. It's all in by the Bulls. Last time in San Francisco, they lost to the Warriors. Well, I mean, they lost their last matchup with this team, and foul trouble really plagued them throughout the game. Yeah, they had a few important guys sitting there on the bench at a time when they really could have used them on the floor. They have to play much more in control here tonight. Now DeRozan after the missed three from Clay Thompson. Vucevic, a strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Vucevic has got six points. And how about the hustle from Vucevic there on the glass, securing that precious second chance opportunity for the team. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Vucevic. Pools check in for the Warriors. Outside Curry. Wiggins sets a screen for Curry. Back to Poole. Pass to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. And there's Poole on the assist by Wiggins. And just another weapon that Jordan Poole has in his offensive arsenal. Kicks to Levine. Outside to Rosen. Thompson sends it back. Outside Curry. Pass to Poole. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And a nice show of strength there from Jordan Poole. The Warriors shooting their first free throw this game. And their numbers from the line last season 
They're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Kobe White comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dosumu. Miami's checked in for the Warriors. That's good from Poole. Well, if Steph Curry works as hard at golf when he has the time as he did in shooting the basketball, I don't know. He's no slouch on the golf course. Now here's White. He's coming off a 19-point game against Oklahoma City. Curry passes to Poole. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Poole's got eight points. And Poole just going right through contact. I mean, this guy is getting better and better. There was a story, Brent, a couple years ago that Steph Curry's best round of golf came during the NBA Finals. Had you heard that? I did hear that, but I also heard that Andre Iguodala has a major role in how that happened. Andre was taking up his golf game when they were battling the Cavs in 2018. And I think that competitive spirit of Steph's took over. He wanted to take Andre on, and they got out there during the Finals. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Williams. To the middle. Down to five on the shot clock. Chicago needs to get a shot off. They're struggling to knock down those threes here in the early going. And that one's off. He misses his first shot of the game. Passes it to Curry. Green with a screen on Caruso. Here's Curry. From down in the low post, it goes. Now it's a seven-point Warrior lead. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Vucevic, he's checked in for the Bulls. Then for the Warriors, Moody's checked in for Wiggins. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Curry. Russo finds Levine, and Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Warriors leading by seven. Here's DiVincenzo. He had 22 points in the win against San Antonio. Now Caruso. He kicks it to Levine. Over Lamb. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Poole, the pass to DiVincenzo. And here is Moody. To the paint. 
Here's Green. That one misses. Great D that time from Vucevic. Poole against White. Shoots over Poole. White, good. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by the Warriors. The three from Poole. Cranes the three-pointer. Poole's got... At 11 points. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. Let's it go with a three. Buries the long range jumper. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Green with a screen on White. Pool the pass to Green. It's over Vucevic, and it's Green missing. Bulls trail by five. White looking around. Five on the clock. Green with the block. Well, I like the extension there from Draymond Green reaching out and timing that one. Poole kicks to DiVincenzo. To Poole. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Green. Vucevic with the block, and they're able to recover. Poole, no good. Well, Chicago's gotten just two of six to fall from three point range so far in the first. On the wing, Levine. Good. Nice job down low. Now it's just a three point warrior lead. And that great athleticism and body control. Reasons why Levine is just so dangerous inside. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Bulls making a switch here. DeRozan's checked in. And Golden State also making a change. Looney's checked in. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Poole against Levine. Six to shoot. And again, no good by Golden State. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Levine, a screen on Lamb. Here's DeRozan. Fades away. Here's Vucevic, goes back up, and it's good on the way in. Now just a one-point Warrior lead. They are just killing them 
on the interior. And here is Poole. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Spurs in San Antonio. And one of the big ways he came through was at the foul line. They couldn't contain him. He was equally effective at scoring baskets as well as getting to the line. Well, focus from Looney coming in there as he did not alter his shot one bit. Confident in that attempt. And so it's Jordan Poole making highlights for the Warriors. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back to the action in just a minute. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors. Uh, they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc. And so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Draymond Green. Jordan Poole is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Lamb in at the small forward. I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are naturally confident, but when coaches are always critical, it can take you out of your game. Makes you just start to think a little too much on the floor. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That'll be his second foul of the game. White against Poole. They kick it out to Green. Let's the three fly. It's all in by the Bulls. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. D.A., thanks. So it's Chicago now after the Warriors pick up three. Six on the shot clock. To end the run. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from DeMar DeRozan. And DeRozan has really perfected his jumper over the years. He seemed unbothered by the defense. Now, here's Poole. He's got 16. And that one's good. Wiggins. Oh, great ball movement there. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. White against Poole. Vucevic setting the pick for White. He feeds it to Vucevic. It's up a three. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Jones. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Only given up two points this quarter. There's the pass to Wiggins. Here's Poole. Three-pointer. Rebound by Williams. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Vucevic a screen on Lamb. Here's DeRozan. The Warriors pull it in. The D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Poole the pass to DiVincenzo. Poole with a screen for DiVincenzo. Back to Poole. 
And the foul on Patrick Williams. That is his first foul of the game. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. That's a bad turnover right there. But aside from that one, I think they've done a good job controlling the pace and the ball during the game. Now, here's Dosumu. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Warriors leading by nine. DiVincenzo kicks to green. Pass to Poole. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's guarded closely. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Five to shoot. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Wiggins has got five now. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. And talking about Dante DiVincenzo, a native of Delaware, that's a state that doesn't see many of their own go pro. Well, he has been a winner at every stop, Greg. In high school, back-to-back -back state championships in Delaware. And then he won two titles in college. He won a ring with the Bucks, And so the resume has a long list of titles with it. No good on the triple. Bulls trail by 11. Pass to DeRozan. The 19-foot shot. The shot misses. The Warriors go the other way with it. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington, where they'll face the Wizards. And that game will be game three of five away from home. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Well-timed by Vucevic. Not a center who piles up blocks, but this guy picks his spots. Here's Dosunmu. 11-point game. Out to White from outside the arc. Nailed from three-point land. He's got five. I kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Timeout called the Warriors. So for the Bulls, Jones checked in for Vucevic. Bean comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso in for Kobe White. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Green. Moody comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Thompson, he's checked in for Lamb. And Curry subbed in for Jordan Poole. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. They're leading by eight. Pass to Looney. And Jones sends it back. 
and they recover it. Drills the three-pointer. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now here's Levine. He has five. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist by Levine. It would take some very special defense to stop him once he gets that close to the bucket. And they weren't special that time. Took him no time at all on that one. Curry's got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. From the low block, and it's Looney with the rebound. The Warriors have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter, up over 50%. Curry against Caruso. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. That's good from Stephen Curry. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. And Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. Chicago making a switch here. DeRozan's checked in. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Knocked loose. Now the pass to Caruso. Shot clock at five. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. They get Stephen Curry. For Chicago, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. The free throw drops for Caruso. And so Caruso nails both of them. Warriors leading by 12. Pass to Looney. From deep three-point range, and Stephen Curry gets the three. Curry's got 10. Oh, to have a soft touch is one thing, but to do it from 25 feet? Come on, Stephen. Here's Caruso. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. It's something to think about. That free throw, no good. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Vucevic checked in for the bowl. Then for the Warriors, Green, he's checked in for Looney. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Moody. And Poole subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. So he can't get either to fall. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged. That's a big difference both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. And Thompson kicks to Poole. Vucevic against Green. Curry. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. 
and Jones slams it in. And we've witnessed DeRozan improve big time as a playmaker. His court awareness is really at an elite level. Now, here's Poole. 16 points for him. Thompson for three. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And there's the foul. It'll go on Alex Caruso. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now here's Wiggins. He's coming off a 16-point game against San Antonio. Yeah, but I like how he defended as well. You know, he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort. A three-pointer off the mark. Bulls trail by 16. Caruso with the ball. 11 points for him in that last game against Oklahoma City. His defensive mindset tonight was huge. He was a real pest coming up with all those steals and had great activity. Three on the clock. One deep. It's rebounded by Golden State. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a moment now to check out who the Warriors have coming up on their schedule. On Monday. They'll go up against Chris Dapps, Porzingis, and the Washington Wizards. Then on Thursday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Boston Celtics. And you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. Yeah, we talk so much about Curry being the best shooter after he makes a three, but... There's a lot more to it. I mean, this guy is also the most accurate free throw shooter of all time. So it's pure no matter where it comes from. Stephen Curry hits them both. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Now here's Caruso. Levine can't hit. Wiggins against Vucevic. Wiggins passes to Curry. Golden State moving it around. Pass to Wiggins. Shoots over Caruso. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got seven points. And how about Wiggins' ability to slither in there and slip past the contact for a finish? Here's DeRozan. Basket number five goes in. He's now 5 of 12 from the floor. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Here's Poole. Shot from 12. That shot is off. And the Bulls going the other way now. And he's missed every single shot he's attempted today, but, but somehow they're still in the lead. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Bulls have hit half their free throws in this one, going three of six so far. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. Shooting one. Free throw good, Levine. And a good free throw shooter who's really increased his volume over the years. Levine with a lot of ways to beat you. Vucevic against Green. Passes it to Poole. Thompson a screen on Levine. From downtown. Thompson misses. Bulls trail by 15. Here's DeRozan, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And with his hard-charging style, DeRozan gets himself to the line quite a bit, and it helps that he can finish through contact. 
And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Free throw shooting, not an area he has worried about at all. How about last year, 88% from the line? There's 47 seconds left to play in the first half. Curry passes to Green. Now the dish to Thompson. And that time, also a missed shot. Chicago's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Here's DeRozan. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. DeRozan's got nine points now in the quarter. And the basket by Curry. And the Warriors lead by 12. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Near the three-point line, it's Poole. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so we conclude the first half. Warriors ahead, up by 12. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and we've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the Golden State Warriors. You know what's interesting about their perimeter game? No, tell me. Well, the defense has adjusted. But those shooters, they only need a little bit of room to operate. And hard to stop them once they get into their rhythm. And let's get back to our featured game. A fantastic battle between these two guys. Two guys clearly battling for the spot, both putting on a show. You just hope it doesn't become an all-hero ball. Yeah, it's the scoreboard that decides the real winner in the end. That's pretty profound on my part, don't you think? Yes, it does. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Warriors leading by 12. DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. Dosumu is out there with Levine, and it's Vucevic in at the five down low. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Nice shot by Thompson. And we're well aware of how dangerous Clay Thompson can be. You remember that 37-point outburst in one quarter. 
Now here's Levine. Dishes a two to Rosen. Vucevic a screen on Wiggins. Another one falls for Chicago. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Curry. The three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got 17. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. Now Curry after Zach Levine missed from long range. Curry can't get it to go. And the pass to Dosuna. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Outside DeRozan. Just five to shoot. And it's Vucevic missing. Warriors leading by 16. Baseline jumper. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got 19 points. That's three of four here to start the half. Thompson against Levine. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from that. And they'll keep possession. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The Warriors have not yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And that one falls for Looney. And you know, one of the unsung heroes of the Warriors championship teams, Kevon Looney. Oh, totally understands his role and a rotation guy who can start for you, but how much consistency did he provide in that 2022 season and championship run? This guy has battled some injuries, but he has always been reliable for the Warriors. Now, here's Thompson following the miss by DeRozan. Wiggins left side. Makes it off the glass. Wiggins has got nine. Wiggins at his size has the ability to post like that and take it to the rack. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Well, Draymond's IQ on the defensive end is so high level. I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from. Usually it's from guys who scored a lot of points in the NBA, but what he did defensively, he can communicate that quite well. A chance to check out stats for Vucevic. He's coming off an excellent season. Average 17 points a game, 11 rebounds, and three assists. And he's been a rock in the middle for them over that stretch of games. Dominating the glass is his trademark. 
feel like those rebounds are wearing down and eroding the opponent. His effort right now physically and mentally has been good. Levine against Thompson. Pass to Dosunu. No, no, no. It wasn't, it wasn't. Williams, a screen on Curry. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's foul number two for him. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Here's Levine. Eight points for him. Over Thompson. Green with the block. And they get it back. Just four to shoot. Here's Dosunmu. That one's good from the corner. Dosunmu's got five points so far. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Pass to Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got seven points here in this quarter. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Dosunmu, the pass to Levine. Over Thompson. Levine gets the bucket. And that's now ten points for Zach Levine. And now the consistency with that jumper. Levine has little trouble from mid-range. He'll take those shots when he gets them. Now, here's Looney. Seven points in the game. Curry outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Curry's got 24 points. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. DeRozan against Wiggins. Fade away. Here's Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Ever evolving as a passer. DeRozan continues to impress with his ability to find his teammates. Here's Thompson. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Levine is screen on Wiggins. Wiggins against DeRozan. Over Wiggins. Vucevic trying to get open. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Green against Williams. Now here's Green. He's tightly guarded. Fires the three. And another three for Golden State. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. Pools checked in for Kavon Looney. With this break, let's show you the teams that led the league in assists last year. Number five, the Warriors. 
You take a quick look at their assist totals from last season, and it's really impressive. A direct product of the disciplined, unselfish culture that this franchise represents. Outside DeRozan. He dishes it to Williams. Outside Levine. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Curry's got five rebounds tonight. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Dosunmu, the pass to DeRozan. Count that bucket. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. And you want to talk about high volume scores. Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a mission, putting his mark on this game in a big way. Chicago has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Passes to Williams. Williams, a screen on Curry. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That's foul number two for him. Chicago making some changes. White comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dosumu. Williams, a screen on Curry. Caruso with the ball. Now defended by Wiggins. Well done, Andrew Wiggins. If he can sustain that kind of energy on the defensive end, boy, he's an asset out there. Curry kicks to Poole. Inside, got a piece of it. It's stolen by Vucevic. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge, but... Now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. That free throw good from Thompson. And sitting out for over two years due to devastating injuries. It is so good to see Clay Thompson back on the court. I love it. And he's been so competitive with himself to fight through this injury and also to, to regain that form. There had to have been a lot of questions with, you know, over 900 days off. Can I get back to that level? And I believe that he wasn't even fully healthy during the finals. So we're going to see a, a more confident Clay this year. When you think of Clay Thompson, most people think of that three-point shot. But really, it's Clay's ability as a two-way player on the perimeter that has been a standout talent. Now here's Jones. Tries again. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And you want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. Curry passes to Wiggins. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Levine looking around. The pass to White. Jones sets the pick for White. Six to shoot. Basket good. White's got seven points in the game. The IQ of White reading those pick and rolls and just taking what the D gives him. And a deep three from Curry. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Caruso kicks to White. Amazing, 
The Warriors pull it in. Poole's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Poole on the wing. Riggins outside. Green with a screen for Wiggins. The feed to Green. Pass to Poole. The three. Chicago grabs the miss. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Now a moment to see the stats for Wiggins. Last year, getting it done. Last year averaged 17 points a game. Four rebounds and two assists. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. Now here's White. He has seven. The shot's good. And it's now 22 points for DeMar DeRozan. An all-NBA selection over his career. DeRozan is a savvy scorer, reads the passing angles, and looks for catch-and-shoot opportunities. Sinks the triple. Thompson's got 10 points in just the second half. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Levine finds DeRozan. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. There's a minute 47 left here in the third quarter. Here's Thompson. A second chance effort. They shoot again. Sinks it after the KG pump fake. Thompson's got 12 now in this quarter. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Now here's DeRozan. He's got 24. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. The Bulls making a switch here. Vucevic has checked in. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101, but boy, is it working. Now, here's Thompson. He's got 26. Now, Looney. And here is Poole. Fires for three. Another three for Golden State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Vucevic is screen on Thompson with the crossover, and it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got six rebounds here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That's his third foul of the game. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Levine. And the Warriors with possession here. Now, here's Poole. He's got 19. Five to shoot. No good from 11 feet. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Caruso with the ball. Outside, Jones kicks it to White. From deep. They get it back. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. And so it's the Golden State Warriors rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We'll return shortly. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Defense has been fantastic. Great defense. Offense, 
Simple passes will get it done, right? You guys look great, though. Keep the pressure on. Paying his guys respect they deserve. Likes what he sees. I like that message. And, Kevin, it's so important to praise your guys when they're playing well. Coach understands how critical it is to recognize good effort. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Dante DiVincenzo. Moody is out there with Draymond Green. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Lamb at the small forward. Here's DeRozan after the Warriors pick up three. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. So determined is DeRozan as he has piled up a ton of points in this league. And it seems the play-in tournament is here to stay, Brent. Has it worked out as well as you expected? I think it's been great, Kevin. Uh, one of the things that could be adjusted, though, is maybe if you're the eighth seed and you have a 10-game lead on the 10th seed, uh, there should be no reason why they should be competing in the postseason tournament. So maybe they do something with regards to the records as to whether or not a team qualifies. But the way it stands now, it's created the kind of drama and competition that the league has craved. Cool. Rebound by the Bulls. Here's Caruso. Pass to White. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's the floater. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Shot clock at three. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Warriors shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. Now, Poole. Green with a screen on white. Here's Poole. Great D that time from Vucevic. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And the shot goes in. DeRozan's got 29 in the game. DeRozan's hard to handle when he's scoring inside. The, the D doesn't know who to put on it. Lamb passes to Poole. Into the lanes. Here's Green. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now here's DeRozan. And for a lot of up-and-coming teams, getting better defensively is the key to reaching, Greg, that next level. That being considered, what's the first step in that improvement? A lot of times it's bringing in a great defender, like a Pat Beverly or an Andre Iguodala, a defensive anchor who also inspires his teammates to take that challenge. Now here's Caruso following the miss by DeRozan. Shoots over Poole, and it's good off the back rim and in. DeRozan's got 31 points. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Pool against White. That's tipped. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for Golden State. DiVincenzo kicks to Lamb. Feeds to Green. Here's DiVincenzo. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Explosive play from Dante as he gets the foul and just keeps pushing through to get the and one. Zach Levine's checked in for the Bulls. Dosumu comes in for White. Yeah. 
The throw drops for DiVincenzo. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Bulls have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Levine dishes to Jones. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Dosunmu. Yep, that one goes in there. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I, I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it it's still fresh and, and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. The free throw drops for Dosumu. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Poole, drilled from 11 feet out. Poole's got 21. And Poole knocks that one down without worry. Levine against Lamb. Levine passes to Williams. And here is Caruso. Back to Williams. Down low, lock at six. Now here's DiVincenzo, guarded closer. And the ball goes out of bounds, last touch by Caruso. Timeout called the Warriors. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments, pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. And some changes here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. Wiggins comes in for Moody. And Stephen Curry subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Clay Thompson. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taken on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack to make sure they'll be walking out of here with a win. And the Warriors with possession here. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Jones. Levine with it. He's picked up by Lamb. The 11-footer. No good off the back of the rim. The Warriors have gone 4 of 8 in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. The 3 from Poole. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Bulls. Rumors continue to fly about possible league expansion. Brent, any cities you'd like to see join the league? Oh, man, there's, there's a lot of great options out there, Kevin. But I would like to see the league go to 32 and have 16 in each conference. I think that would be great. And there's a city in the Pacific Northwest 
that deserves a team. And I think you know where I'm talking about. Seattle. And the three ball is good. <laughs> Anything the opponent does, trust me, Steph can do it better. He's got to be the best shooter that we've ever seen in the game. Outside Levine. Over Looney. Levine can't hit. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Curry way outside. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. For Chicago, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Outside, Levine. Jones sets the pick for Levine. His three-pointer is off the mark. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Now, here's Curry. Tips it up. Kind of a simple job for Looney out there, but he's willing to do it. Gets into the middle and fights for that board. Passes it to Levine. Throws it up high, and Jones slams it in. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Drops in the tray. Poole's got five points now this quarter. Well, he's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. Levine finds Caruso. Now here's Dosunmu. Caruso, a screen on Curry. Here's Dosunmu. And Stephen Curry with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. With social media and the cult celebrity, a lot of pitfalls for players. Brent, is the NBA doing a good job preparing them to face those very public challenges? That's a really good question, Kevin. And I think what's interesting is to study players who've been in the NBA for a while that are embracing social media versus what you're seeing with younger players who have grown up with social media and how they handle that dynamic coming in. And I think, quite frankly, the younger players are a lot better at doing it than some of the older players. And here is Curry after the three-pointer from Zach Levine. And the foul called on Ayo Dosumu. That's foul number two for him. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Kobe White, he's checked in for Chicago. Here's Wiggins. Curry on the wing. White covering. Green with a screen on Williams. Here's Wiggins. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. Well, Chicago has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Levine against Poole. Outside DeRozan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. And that's an aggressive take there by DeRozan. And no doubt the coaches will appreciate his ability to attack the defense. And he makes the first. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the games. Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initials, like KD or AD or KG. <laughs> Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. Uh, initials excluded. Uh, that might spark some creativity. DeMar DeRozan hits them both. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Now, here's Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got six assists now in the game. Bulls have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. White the pass to DeRozan. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiggins has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. 
You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. The Bulls making a switch here. Jones has checked in. That one misses for Wiggins. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time, the, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. Here's DeRozan following the basket by Draymond Green. Four on the clock. Yep, that one goes. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Golden State's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. And there's the pass to Wiggins. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Wiggins has got five points now this quarter. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. And it's DeRozan missing. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Now here's Curry. Nice shot by Thompson. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Levine passes to DeRozan. And so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft class, in particular, looks very strong. Absolutely. Anytime you've got just a couple potential stars, but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special draft. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Now, here's DeRozan. Outside, Levine. DeRozan dishes to White. Shoots over Curry, and it's White missing. Now that's a shot right there he's going to hit nine times out of ten. We just saw the 10% he doesn't make. Curry against DeRozan. They double-team Curry. A three-pointer. Wiggins. And Jones pulls it down. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for the Warriors. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-gamer. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Clay Thompson. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Curry looking around. Pass to Poole. Fires from deep. It doesn't go for him. Levine kicks to DeRozan. Oh. 
So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, thanks very much, Clay. You had it going tonight. Now, when you are that hot, what are you trying to do on the court? Uh, took a couple bad shots, a couple heat checks, but they went in tonight. Fortunately, when you got the hot hand, you're just looking for that little ounce of space because all you need is an inch or two, and that thing's just flicking off your wrist so easy, and it just happened to be one of those nights. That leads to one of those wins for your team, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.